In this video, we're going to look at speed, distance and time. We're going to look at some problems involving these. So here we've got a car traveling through a speed limit of 30 miles per hour. So if the car is traveling at 30 miles per hour, its speed would be 30 mph or 30 miles per hour. And that means that in every hour, it drives 30 miles. So in one hour, it would drive 30 miles. Two hours, 60 miles. Three hours, 90 miles. Four hours, 120 miles and so on. And that's what a speed is. A speed is a measurement of how far you travel in a certain amount of time. So quite often in exam questions, we'll be looking at miles per hour. So how many miles maybe a car or lorry travels in an hour. We could also maybe be looking at kilometers per hour. Now with kilometers per hour, you would write km slash h, and that would be how many kilometers you travel in an hour. So instead of writing p, you write the forward slash. Um, or maybe even um, it could be uh, meters per second. So maybe something like um, a sprinter or something like that. You maybe look at how many meters they travel in a second. But all of these speed measure how far you travel in a certain amount of time, whether it's an hour, an hour, or a second, or so on. Okay, let's look at the speed in a little bit more detail. So, we have a speed of 30 miles per hour, that's what the car is traveling at. And in one hour, as we said, 30 miles per hour, it would drive 30 miles. In two hours, it would be 60 miles. Three hours, 90 miles. Four hours, 120 miles. 10 hours even, 300 miles, because 10 lots of 30. So, what we want to do is just establish a relationship between these, okay? so. If we know that the speed is that the car is traveling at is 30 miles per hour, watch this. 30 divided by 1 is 30. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 90 divided by 3 is 30. 120 divided by 4 is 30. 300 divided by 10 is 30. So in all these situations, whenever you divide the distance that it travels by the time, you will always get the speed, as long as the time is in you know the unit that you want the speed in. Okay. So here we've got the first one. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. So if we want to find the speed that something is traveling, so if we didn't know how far that how fast the car was traveling, but I knew perhaps it drove 60 miles in two hours, I could do the distance divided by the time and it will give me the speed. Next, um, distance is equal to speed times time. Notice that if the speed is 30 miles per hour, and I drove for 10 hours, which is 30 miles in every hour. So you would do 10 lots of 30, or another quick way of doing that is 10 times 30, and that would be 300. So if we want to find how far something travels, if we multiply its average speed, its speed, by the time that it travels for, we will find the distance covered. And finally, if you want to find the time taken, watch this, if I travel 300 miles at 30 miles per hour, well, if I divide 300 by 30, I get 10. So these are three very important formulae. Now I quite often will focus on the words miles per hour and figure out from there. Um, but these formulas are, are, are formulae are very important to learn. Sometimes you might see a triangle like this, maybe given to you in physics or even maths, uh, where you have got S, D and T. And what you do is you cover up what you're looking for. So if I wanted to define speed, I would cover up the S. And that leaves me with D over T, distance divided by time. If I wanted to find the distance traveled, well, if I want to find the distance, I cover up the distance. And because these are on the same level, you just do speed times time. And if you want to find how uh, long a journey takes, if you divide, if you cover up the time, so put your thumb over time, that'll leave you D over S. So you do distance divided by speed, and that will give you the time taken. So this is a quick uh, way of remembering it. Or alternatively, you could just figure it out by thinking what miles per hour or you know kilometers per hour means, and you can remember it that way. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at some exam questions. So here we've got first one. We've got a car travelled uh, 180 miles in four hours. Find the average speed in miles per hour of the car. So as we've seen, speed is equal to distance divided by time. Okay, or S equals D over T, depending on how you want to write it. So the speed is equal to the distance. Well, the distance travelled, a car drives 180 miles. So 180 miles divided by the time taken. Well, the time taken is four hours. So divided by four. So we will do 180 divided by four. 180 divided by four is equal to 45. So that means the car must be travelling at 45 miles per hour. And remember to include your units. And let's just check that. So the car travels for four hours. Well, at 45 miles per hour, that'd be four lots of 45. So that'd be 45, 90, 135, 180. So yeah, in four hours, it would cover 180 miles. Okay, next. Now, it's not always, as we've seen earlier, it's not always um, miles per hour. It might be meters per second and so on. Kevin runs 400 meters in 50 seconds. Work out his average speed. So again, speed is equal to, if you cover up S, 
distance divided by t, so d over t. So speed is equal to the distance, 400 meters, divided by the time, 50 seconds, and 400 divided by 50 is equal to 8. And this time it's meters per second, so m slash s. That's it. So that's the next question. Okay. A train travels at 170 or a train travels 175 miles at an average speed of 25 miles per hour. Work out how long the journey lasts. So how long the journey lasts, it wants to know the time that the journey takes. So we want to find t in this situation. So we want to find t, so we're going to do t equals distance divided by speed. Distance divided by speed. So time equals, well the distance to the train travels in total is 175 miles. And the speed at which it travels is 25 miles per hour. So if we divide those, we're going to find, well, 175 divided by 25. Well, that would be equal to 7 hours. That's it. So we'll find out how long the, the journey would last. Next. A bird flies for 6 hours at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Calculate how far the bird travels, or how far, how far the bird flies. So this time we want to find how far it flies, so that's the distance, we want to find the distance. So that's going to be speed times time. So distance is equal to speed times time. So distance is equal to the speed, 40 kilometers per hour, times the time, 6 hours, and 40 times 6 is equal to 240. Now let's just make sure we're getting the right units, the so speed is 40 kilometers per hour, so that's going to be 240 kilometers. Okay, our next example. A helicopter flies 200 miles in 2 hours and 30 minutes. Calculate the average speed in miles per hour of the helicopter. Now this question is a bit different than the ones we've looked at so far. Because if you notice the time has got 2 different units. It's 2 hours, 30 minutes. So what we need to do is, because we want it in miles per hour, well again we want to find the speed. So the speed is equal to distance divided by time. Speed is equal to where the distance is 200, but the issue here is the time. Now we want it in miles per hour, so this needs to be hours on the bottom line. Now 2 hours 30 minutes, well 30 minutes, 30 minutes is equal to half an hour. So 2 hours 30 minutes would be equal to 2 and a half hours. So that would be 2.5 because 30 minutes is half an hour. It's quite important to remember that. So for instance if you have minutes and you've got hours, 30 minutes it's half an hour, 0.5. 15 minutes, a quarter of an hour, well, that'd be 0.25. 45 minutes, well, that's three quarters of an hour, and that'd be 0.75, and so on. So it's important to know, um, you know like, um, what your minutes are in hours. Alternatively, you could just write it as a fraction and cancel it down. So 30 minutes, well, that's 30 out of an hour, 60, and cancel that down as a half. Anyway, so 2 hours 30 minutes, because it's 2 hours 30 minutes, is 2.5. So we're going to do distance, 200, divided by the time, 2.5, 2.5. And that will give us our speed. So 200 divided by 2.5 is equal to 80. So the average speed of the helicopter is 80 miles per hour. Miles per hour. Okay, next. Roger drives for 2 hours 15 minutes at an average speed of 30 miles per hour. How far does Roger drive? So we want how far he travels, so that's going to be distance, that's going to be speed times time. So distance is equal to speed times time. So the distance will be equal to his speed, 36 miles per hour, 36, times the time. Now again, because it's miles per hour, we need the time to be in hours. Now we've got 2 hours, 15 minutes. So it's going to be 2 hours, point. Now 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, so that's going to be 0.25 because 15 minutes is 0.25 hours, and because it's two and a quarter hours, it's gonna be 2.25 hours. So we times our 36 by 2.25, and so distance would be equal to 36 times by 2.25 equals 81 miles. Okay, our second last example. A car travels at 20, uh, sorry, a car travels 240 kilometers in three hours, 40 minutes. Calculate the average speed of the car. So the speed is equal to distance divided by time. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. So the speed will be equal to the distance, 240, divided by the time. 
Now again, we've got to be careful here because we want the speed in kilometers per hour. So the time will need to be in hours and we've got three hours, 40 minutes. Now I automatically know that this is going to be 3.666 or six recurring because uh, 40 minutes is two thirds of an hour. But let's have a look and see what we do if we don't know that. So three hours will be three point. Now we need to change the 40 minutes into an hour into a decimal of an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the 40 minutes as a fraction of an hour. So 40 minutes out of 60 minutes, because that's what, you know, 40 minutes out of an hour. Cancel it down. Well, it's going to be four over six. And as you cancel that down, two thirds. So it's two thirds. So that means that 40 minutes is two thirds of an hour. And two thirds of an hour. And two thirds is 0 0.6 recurring or 0 0.66666, so on, okay? Or 240 divided by 3.6 with the dot above it, okay? So 20 minutes is a third of an hour, 40 minutes is two thirds of an hour, and so on, okay? So we're gonna do the, sp the distance, 240 divided by 3.6 recurring. And when we do that, 240 divided by 3.6 recurring, we get that's equal to 65.45 kilometers per hour, and that's to two decimal places. And let's just check it. If we times the speed by the time, we should get the distance. So if we times our answer by 3.66666 and so on, we get that's equal to 240. And that's it. So the car travels at an average speed of 65.45 kilometers to two decimal places. And our last example. A lorry travels 210 miles at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Calculate how long the journey lasts. So we want time, and that's going to be distance divided by speed. So time is equal to distance divided by speed. And it says calculate how long the journey lasts. Give your answer in hours and minutes. So time is equal to distance, 210, divided by um, speed. So time is equal to distance divided by speed. So 210 divided by the speed. 50 so we do 210 divided by 50 and we get that's equal to 4.2 now that's because it's miles per hour that's going to be 4.2 hours now unfortunately we want to, we have well, not unfortunately but we have to give our answer in hours and minutes so we know it's going to be four hours what we need to do is we need to get our minutes uh, from the 0 0.2 hours so what we do is we just multiply 0 0.2, 0 0.2 by 60 minutes because we didn't want to know what 0 0.2 is of 60. So 0 0.2 times 60 will be equal to 12. So that means that 0 0.2 of an hour, 0 0.2 hours is equal to 12 minutes. And that means that our journey will last for four hours, 12 minutes. That's it. So the important thing to learn from this video is first of all that the relationships between uh, speed, distance and time, which are speed is distance divided by time, distance is speed times time, and that time is equal to distance divided by speed. And that these can be summarized in a triangle like so, uh, with speed, distance and time, or you can figure it out by just remembering what the units mean, miles per hour, and you know being aware of that. And that's it. And just being very careful that if you are dealing with uh, questions where you've got hours and minutes, to change them into hours, or minutes depending on what it you know needs to be, most often you will change them into hours. And that if you're looking for a, a journey in um, hours and minutes, the duration of it, uh, what you would do is times the decimal number by the, by 60, to find how many minutes that would be. Well, that's it.